now that I've darkened and blurred the background I'm going to darken the area here on her body right we can do that easily with a color control point which is available in NX version 1 now click on the area and slide the brightness and the saturation slider so the skin now looks a little darker which makes the face more pronounced now talking about the face you can see that while the lens is really sharp and I'd like to just soft soften the face a little uh, this would have been quite tricky to do in NX1 but with NX2 we have this tool called the selection control point which is new and by clicking on the face notice that it's automatically applied a mask on the, the face and here I'm going to actually select the Gaussian blur and apply it on her face as you can see her face is much smoother and I'm going to just decrease the opacity slightly so we've actually smoothened her facial skin but her eyes remain sharp now you can all always check the adjustments that were done by just disabling the um, tick mark here as you can see when I I can just check on the background by disabling it and it does not affect the ones that are after it uh, this is an, a new option in NX2 which was not available in the previous version 1 at this point I think I'll crop the photo slightly as I like a tighter composition I'll click on the crop tool and um, make the adjustment now notice that um, the selection here is on fixed aspect ratio you can actually select free crop and you can select various presets like landscape and portrait and you can also activate the grid to help on your composition okay let's say I'm happy with that I'm gonna double click the photo so the image is now cropped right I think we're done at this point so I'm going to save the image finally I'll do a resize followed by some sharpening now in NX version 1 you had the size resolution tool but in NX2 we have the fit photo tool which allows you to resize automatically depending on the width or the height of the image whether it's portrait or landscape mode and then I apply a little sharpening right focus on sharp mask just a slight sharpening would do and there you have it now I, I do the resize and sharpen so often that I actually save it as a preset uh, this can be done so that you can automate this for all your photos so I'm not going to apply this on this photo I'm going to quit this and not save it and that resize and sharpen preset is so useful that in this case I'm going to actually well assuming that I've done editing for all the photos I'm going to select all the photos and right click on the resize and sharpen preset that I've made before and append the settings and out pop the batch processing window here I'm going to select the output format to JPEG the quality to good and select a different folder as my final output and click the start button so now all the raw photos will be processed and output as JPEG ready to be uploaded onto my website so there you have it that concludes my brief review 
on Nikon Capture NX2.